Hi gang, Fresno here, and welcome to a little special something. This is ActRaiser. ActRaiser was released in 1991 by Enix for the Super Nintendo, and it combined an action platformer with a simulation game. Now, I'm not LPing it, not quite. My friend Samurai Karazu LPed it, and he did a damn fine job at it. There are a few people, however, who complained, uh, a small minority, I think, about the simulation parts being boring to watch on video. So for them, and for a bit of fan content for all of you, because ActRaiser is one of my favorite games ever, I present something that Samurai Karazu did not show off after he beat the game. Because after you beat the game, you unlock Professional Mode. What is Professional Mode? Professional Mode is every action scene in ActRaiser strung together into one big action platformer game. So if you didn't like the simulation bits in ActRaiser, this is for you, because strap yourselves in, we've got an action game. Balls to the wall, sword slashing, and platforming. And I mean balls to the wall. It's a lot different from the regular ActRaiser game. Let me lift up the differences here. You start with five lives, you go through every action scene. There are no magic spells or scrolls to get. And most importantly for the challenge, Enemies take double damage to kill, and you take double damage from contact with the enemies of their projectiles or whatnot. So this really makes for a bit of a challenging game at parts. But we're gonna do it. Oh shit. Silly, silly gorilla man got me. Never fear, we're here in Fillmore, Act 1, which has some damn fine music. Yeah, the composer for this game was a Yuzo Koshiro. And Yuzo Koshiro did a lot of stuff. He did the East games on the PC-88. He did Streets of Rage. He did, what did he do that really surprised me? He did Shenmue. He, he, he is a damn fine composer. Oh, jump over here because there's a free life. And you're going to want lives. Oh, trust me. Ah, fuck, waiting for that tree. I'm just gonna tank through that. Tank through the thorns. What the hell? Who cares? Evil tree, you gonna walk back? Because I would like that health. That's health up there. See? I knew it. Let me jump down, and we've got our first boss. It's a centaur. Now, I should mention that every uh, town in ActRaiser seems to be based on some real-world location. In this case, the Fillmore seems to be based on Greece, and I'm mostly getting this stuff from the bosses. This guy only has, like, two attacks, and he's pretty easy. The first boss here is a Centaur, and the boss of Fillmore Act 2 is a Minotaur, so that makes me think Fillmore is supposed to be Greece. You know, because Centaurs, Minotaurs, Tor, 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 Tors, stuff like that. Alright, so this is Fillmore Act 2. It's the Minotaur's lair. It's all watery and it's got skull bats and they're really annoying. That's our dagger throwing imps. Very, very annoying. I believe Karazu took the upper path here, so we're gonna take the lower path just, just for shits and giggles. Some of these places have branching paths, but only like one or two stages, I believe, have branching paths. So, it's not that much. Oh, shit. I crouched down there, and I didn't do very well. Oh, God. Those bats really, really suck. Like, a lot. I don't think there's any reliable way... Well, if there is a reliable way to get past those bats, I don't... I don't quite know it, so I just take the hit and move on. You jump up here and you fight a great big bone dragon with a sword and kill it in like six hits, and you never see that enemy again in the game. Cute, huh? There are a lot of enemies you never see again. Each stage, for the most part, has unique enemies to it. That's something I like about ActRaiser. This, this game came out like... What? a month after the Super Famicom launched in Japan, and 
It came out relatively quick after the Super Nintendo's launch in 91, too. Like, only a few months. So this was a very, very early Super Nintendo title, and it really showed off what the system could do, graphically and musically. This this sounds amazing. It, it might not sound the best now, but try and imagine just coming off of this after listening to tunes from the 8-bit era, and you'll realize it's like, holy shit, this is actually pretty great. All, all the early Super Nintendo titles had a lot of that, like Final Fantasy 2, aka okay, 4. And now we're at the Minotaur, and... You can avoid those axes, but I say fuck that, and I just tank the crap out of this stupid Minotaur, because he only did like three or four hits to me. Yeah. And with that, we are done with Fillmore, the first town set stages here. So we just get that, and now we're on to our second town, Blood Pool. Which is my favorite music in the game. This is why I love Yuzo Koshiro so goddamn much. Ooh, damn, that thing hit me twice. That stunt boomeranged on me. Oh yeah, the plot to this game. You are the mast master of platforming. That was embarrassing. You are the master. Not, not, not the time war, but it's a translation thing. In the original Japanese, you're pretty much God. And you had to fight the demon Tanzra, which is pretty much Satan. So it's a God game. This time, I will kill that thing because then he. Oh shit! What? Yeah, there we go. I did not think he came back after you did stuff, but I was wrong. That's a poor start, but don't worry. I usually don't lose a life until like the fourth level, but we'll see if our luck can't last here. Just, just keep moving. Ah, uh, here we go. There's this. There's a life right over there, so it'll be like I never did anything. Provided I can get to that life right over here. It's okay, but it's okay about taking the damage. I don't, I don't, I don't mind. Boss of Blood Pool Act One is not that difficult. Besides, they give you an apple right here anyway, so you're completely fine. All right. Boss is a Manticore. I'm not sure what a manticore entails, but I do believe Blood Pool is supposed to be somewhere in Europe. And I base this pretty much solely on Blood Pool Act 2's boss. So the manticore just jumps around and shoots fireballs out of its mouth. That's all it does. Completely and solitary. This is really whack it. That's all you gotta do. You jump over, stand in the right place, get a few free hits on it. I think I can get him on this pass. Come on. Or not, because like... Oh, maybe? Maybe? Yes? No? Maybe so? Yeah! We got the manicorn. Awesome. It's Blood Pool Act 1, with one embarrassing death. Sigh. So now we're at Blood Pool Act 2. The water's purified due to simulation sequence events. Yeah, you do realize there's supposed to be a whole sim game tying all this action stuff into it. And being all innovative and mashing two genres together into one actual surprisingly great game that flows well. But yeah, Accurator does that. There's a life down there, but yeah. I don't want that one as bad, and besides, there are others to get. So I should be fine. This room always reminds me of that one room in Super Metroid, where it's like, there, there are the bugs lighting up the room, and if you shoot them, it gets darker. Yeah, it 
reminds me of that place. So this place right here is a castle. The castle of some magician who's demanding sacrifices from all the people in Bloodpool. So you descend down as your lord and master with your sword and your buff body and you go and wreck shit. Essentially. We're just getting in here. It's, 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 okay. These enemies are the worst. I don't like these guys. But this is... Well, this isn't the only place they appear, but it's only one of the two. They don't appear for a long time after this, and that's only like... There may only be one more of them. In that particular level that I'm thinking of. I don't know. If I, I, I'm not sure on that. I forget off the top of my head. We'll find out, though, because... This is a one sitting go through. Did I mention that? Okay. I want that life. You see it up there? I want it. Okay, this is coming to. Oh, God, no! No, 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 no! Couldn't jump off in time. Oh, this is going so poorly. There was a life over there, but since I've lost one, I'm going to say, fuck it, and cut my losses and move on after I get back there. Just kind of moseying along and hurrying up now since we've done this. This is old hat. How come I can make that fucking jump on all my test runs yet yeah, when I'm actually recording? It's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't understand. I don't expect you to believe me either when I say that. I could just be covering my ass and trying to make up for my own suck. For all you know, but really I'm not. I'll prove it as we keep going here. I really will. I'll make up for this. I will plow through this game like a pro. I swear, I swear it. Alright, this is the last section, and you've got these blocks, and just like the Mega Man blocks. Well, not just like them, because it's like, the, the, we go in and out of the wall instead of just actually disappearing, so, you know. Oh, oh, oh! Jesus. Uh-oh. Kind of missed time to that. Okay. It's fine now, though. I'm up here. Alright, boss time. This guy is a magician, and he shoots spread shots. And lightning. It's a good idea to get him over here and hit him on that little platform all the way to the right. That way you can actually get him at ground level. And when you get him down to low enough health, he turns into a werewolf. This is why I think Europe, because when I think werewolves, I think Europe. And he just runs around and does stuff. But I killed him. He's dead. That's the end of Bloodpool. Yeah, yeah. Our third area is Cassandra. And we get more of that rad music. Oh my god, there's, there's creatures in this desert. And in this desert there are creatures. You could call them desert creatures. Holy shit, there's a tentacle. Come up. Okay. You're coming back, aren't you, Mr. Fire Guy? Oh, great. He's gonna respond because it came too far. Close. Alright, keep going. Fight tentacle monsters. This, this. I don't understand what this is. Oh shit, I am almost dead. Uh, 
This, my God. No, we're very pro at all. Some damn fire thing. <laughs> and the invincibility time is like nil. You get like one second of flashing and you can get beaten around really easily. But we're past that part now. Now we're down here. I don't like this section. Because first you got these guys. Then you have these stupid insects that just weave around and... Nearly every part of that weaving can fucking hit you. You can't weave around it. It's just basically there to extend the bug's hitbox and make him like really, really erratic and weavy and all sorts of other shit like that. We climb up and up here there's... That's a thing that kills every enemy on screen, but I believe in the original game it would be a... Scroll. I almost said a cross. Why did I say that? A scroll for your magic, but there's no magic in that race of professional mode, so instead we got a, a kill all. Could have been health or one up or, oh, could have been points, I suppose, but yeah. It's points. Points don't matter in this. And now we've got first boss of Cassandra. It's an ant lion, it shoots rocks. His big old mandibles. And it's generally an easy, easy boss. Look at this, wow. Dead. Simple as pie. Cassandra, Act 1 is clear. Despite great difficulty, at least I didn't die there. And Cassandra Act 2 takes place in a pyramid. Cassandra's Egypt. Yeah, look, you've got asps and pharaoh heads that shoot arrows. And fucking mummies and hydra. It, it's fucking Egypt. I don't care. Dude. If you don't like Egypt, too bad, because it's fucking Egypt. This is Egypt up in here. So much Egypt, I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm serious. There's, like, way too much Egypt, and there's this horse-looking motherfucker with a sword that kind of acts like one of those bone dragon things, but kind of doesn't at the same time. Let's drop down here, and you've got scorpions and these little skull fireballs, which annoy the hell out of me, and I like these Anubises in the background. They're, they're a nice touch. They almost look like they were, they're scaling with mode 7. I mean, like, they almost look like that. Right, free guy. And I get hit and I fall. That's just brilliant. Now, knowing my luck, I'm gonna fuck up this platform here. This is just like a big vertical climb. I want that because that's health, I believe. I am correct in that assumption. I just gotta get over on this platform. Alley-oop. Okay, that didn't work so well. Let's just try and jump over there again. Success. Yeah, the time limits in these stages are generous as hell. I don't think you're ever going to run out of time in this game. I'm serious. It's like... Not the thing that happens. I jumped too quickly and went right into that arrow, guys. Arrow. Get out of here, you booby trap. Oh, a little, little slow on the draw there. Getting those snakes. That's, that's not cool. I believe we're coming up near the end of Cassandra Act 2. I almost jumped into those spikes because of that mummy. That would not have been fun. Alright, careful here because there's going to be a platform coming down. We jump, jump on it as it's coming down because it goes right down into the spikes. Come at it when it's coming up. We're low on health, but luckily we get a 
full, a filler upper, and this horse guy shoots sword beams and jumps. Fuck him. For the boss, he can be easy or hard depending on how you can pattern lock him. It's a big pharaoh head. And he's gonna be tough because he fucking. I like to just do this jumping backwards. And slashing it, and you get like way more hits than if you just wait for him to fall down. That's all he does. And that's Cassandra done. I like saying it like that's Cassandra. But it's Cassandra. Alright. Fourth stage. I hate this level. This is Itos. I do believe it's modeled after either China or Japan. You've got bamboo, which is like Chinese. But there's some other stuff which is inherently Japanese. And now I'm running. I'm hanging on a platform that's being led by dubs. While these stupid troll bastards are throwing rocks at me. Shit coming out of the volcano. I, I, I don't like this level. Like, Act 2 is not so bad, but Act 1 just second worst level in the game. And there's a Tengu! Tengus are pretty Japanese in origin, so that's why I think Itos is based on Japan, because Tengu. Yeah, where are the floating skulls in the sky? I like the background, though. Good old parallax scrolling. Never fails. You thinking you're gonna get health? No, fuck you. You're not getting any health. Not for a long time. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. Christ, how many? These tangos move back way too much. I don't like it. Got three hits left until the end here. And we're in a live active volcano. What fun. I don't know if Japan has any active volcanoes or if China does or anything like that. I want you all to know this Tengu bastard is the worst. gone now. Oh well. Hmm. One hit left and the health is all the way over here. I don't think I'm going to make it. But we can try. Now can't we? If I can just get past this guy, that guy. Well, an unexpected pleasure. Uh, the boss of this section is the worst. I don't know about the worst, but it's definitely, definitely, definitely one of the things that sets professional mode a cut above the regular act razor mode. Because right here, instead of a one-up, you get a laser sword power-up. And that would help you deal against this stupid-ass dragon motherfucker. But instead, I had to stand on this tiny-ass platform Hoping I can hit him, and hoping he doesn't hit me because he takes off two hits with just one bit of contact with him. I'm lucky if I get two hits on him. It's tedious and balls, and I do not like this fight. Let it be known. I do not like this dragon boss in Act Razor. This is my sweet spot, though. This spot right here. You can get a good one or two hits on him and react quickly to avoid his charges. Well, for the most part. Doing okay so far. Come on. Come on. It's just it's just a boss. He'd be uh, oh god, I almost fell to my death there. Tiny ass platform, I might add. Oh, that was just not government sanctioned. Not 
Okay, two hits left. Can I do this? Can I make this a reality? Whew! Okay. That's a load off my shoulders. Wow, four, 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 oh. Ain't that grand. Alright, I toast act two. More volcano fun. It's not as bad as the level in the bosses. Oh, we'll get to the boss. <laughs> you just wait. Okay, I'm just gonna trigger those things because that explodes and get this guy to swoop down because he is a prick. Oh, you are a jerk, Mr. Imp guy. And these cloud things always remind me of that one boss in Link to the Past. You know, the one that you use the hook shot on and pull off the bubbles and stuff. And the little clouds. Oh god. Mm. They, just, they just encircle you. That's all these things do. Come here. Right. This section. I like the shimmering heat effect they're going for here. They're sort of messiahing the stalagmites or stalactites or whichever one are the up ones. There's one thing I have never bothered to learn. Which one's which? Oh, and look. Yamato samurai guy archers shooting fire arrows at me. Even more Japanese stuff. That's why I think Itos is Japan. That is why I think that. guy in time because I kind of ducked down. Oh, shit. I'm lucky there's health coming up. Well, that's one spot where one of those bomb things actually came in handy. There's some health. And we run in to the easiest boss in the game, the Hell Wheel. Watch Karazu. This is how you do it. Three slashes. One. You just stand right here. This is how you make this boss look like a chump. I know damaged it. Easy as shit. Itos is down. Hmm. I didn't die once during anything in Itos.